Hi, welcome to Fish. First, I see Kim, and my name is Linda. Okay, we're just going to do something a little bit different today.、Um, I know it was a curiosity of mine.、Um, what happened to the apostles, right? You know, after everything, after Acts, after all the books that were written, you know, Paul and all that. What what happened to the apostles? How did they die? You know, it was always a curiosity. So we're going to go through the apostles and well, see how they died. I don't mean it to be morbid, but you know, I mean it's all part of life, right? You know, it's all part of the Bible. So we're going to start with Matthew. Matthew, well, he he was martyred in Ethiopia. Apparently, he was killed by a sword wound.、Mm. Mark, Mark died in Alexandria, Egypt, after being dragged by horses through the streets until he was dead. Luke, well, Luke was hanged in Greece as a result of his tremendous preaching to the lost. John. Well, John faced martyrdom when he was boiled in a huge basin of boiling oil during a wave of persecution in Rome. However, he was delivered. Yeah, it was a miracle. He experienced a miracle. He was delivered from death. So then, John was sentenced to the mines on the prison island of Patmos. It's pretty much a penal colony, and there he wrote the book of Revelation. Jesus came down in a vision and took him up, and John wrote Revelation. And John was later freed and returned to serve as Bishop of Edessa in modern Turkey. He died as an old man, and he is the only apostle to die peacefully. Peter. Peter was a little difficult to find because there's so much、uh, folklore on him, but one was. Apparently, he was crucified upside down on an X-shaped cross,、uh, according to church tradition. So、um, it was because he told his tormentors that he felt unworthy to die in the same way that Jesus Christ had died.、Um, anyway, that's Peter. James, the leader of the church in Jerusalem, was thrown over a hundred feet down from the southeast pinnacle of the temple when he refused to deny his faith in Christ. When they discovered that he survived the fall, his enemies beat James to death with a club. Apparently, this pinnacle also was the same one where Satan had taken Jesus during the temptation. All right, James, the son of Zebedee,、uh, he was a fisherman by trade when Jesus called him to a lifetime of ministry. As a strong leader of the church, James was beheaded at Jerusalem. The Roman officer who guarded James watched amazed as James defended his faith at trial. Later, that same officer walked beside James to the place of execution. Overcome by conviction, he declared his new faith to the judge and knelt beside James to accept beheading as a Christian. Wow, Bartholomew. Also known as Nathaniel, was a missionary to Asia. He witnessed for our Lord in present-day Turkey. Bartholomew was martyred for his preaching in Armenia, where he was flayed to death by a whip. Andrew was crucified on an X-shaped cross in Patras, Greece. After being whipped severely by seven soldiers, they tied his body to the cross with cords to prolong his agony. His followers reported that when he was led toward the cross, Andrew saluted it in these words: "I have long desired and expected this happy hour. The cross has been consecrated by the body of Christ hanging on it." He continued to preach to his tormentors for two days until he expired. Oh my gosh, Thomas. Was stabbed with a spear in India during one of his missionary trips to establish the church in the subcontinent. And this one, I gotta take a break from.、Uh, we were in India years ago, and we actually saw where the bones of Thomas were supposedly buried for a while. Now they're at the Vatican. 
But apparently when the Portuguese sailed there in, um, I forget, 1400s, I think, and they, they came into India and they saw all these crosses, they were amazed because they didn't know that's where Thomas went. So it's a very interesting story. I suggest you look it up. It's really good. Uh, Jude. Jude was killed with arrows when he refused to deny his faith in Christ. And Matthias, the apostle chosen to replace the traitor Judas, was stoned and then beheaded. And last but not least, Paul. Paul was tortured and then beheaded by the evil emperor Nero at Rome in 67 AD. Paul endured a lengthy imprisonment which allowed him to write his many epistles to the churches he had formed throughout the Roman Empire. These letters, which taught many of the foundational doctrines of Christianity, form a large portion of the New Testament. Perhaps this is a reminder, right? This can remind us of our sufferings here are indeed minor compared to the intense persecution and cruelty faced by the apostles and disciples. Yep, I mean, you got to think, not only these men had such a strong conviction and faith in God, but, you know, they had such love for him too. They did, it was done in love. So that's it for Fish. First I see Kim, my name is Linda, and until next time. <laughs>